can this weird looking device help you draw faster? People often ask me how they can draw faster, and the answer is obviously practice. But like, you know, besides that, if you're doing digital art, there are actually ways you can speed up your workflow. I'll explain what I like to do and how this thing actually helps. Okay, so full disclosure first, Torbox did sponsor me to make this video. However, I've already been using one for years before they contacted me. So I'll be talking about my own personal experiences with the Torbox and how it helped me draw faster. So when you're first starting out with digital art on the PC, it looks a little something like this. That's pretty slow. It's usually a bit better for touchscreen tablets since tapping buttons with your fingers is faster. But I still found it way slower than using keyboard hotkeys, to the point I connected a wireless keyboard to my iPad as well. This helped a bit, but it didn't solve the entire problem, because look at this. There are a lot of operations like changing brush size and opacity, zooming in and out, and rotating the canvas that still aren't all that convenient. But this is exactly why I bought my first Torbox, and I've been using it ever since. With a knob and dial on the Torbox, you can set it to quickly adjust just about anything on these programs. But if it's just a knob you want, it's not like you can't get it elsewhere. What makes the Torbox special? Let me explain. Have you ever wondered why the tour box looks so, well, weird? Why are all the buttons different? Why are they in these specific places? There's actually a really good reason for this. The tour box is designed for you to use without ever looking at it. You can always hit the exact key you need without even glancing down. I don't know about you guys, but when I use a keyboard, I spent a lot of time just pressing the wrong button sometimes, since the keys all feel the same if I don't look at them. Now, you might be wondering, how much time can you really save? But think about playing a sport or your favorite video game. You don't even need to think before pressing a button on the controller or swinging a racket. You move before your brain even realizes it. And that's what the tour box does for digital art. It allows you to focus 100% on your drawing, allowing you to select tools and manipulate the canvas without even thinking about it. Okay, so what's the difference between the brand new Tourbox Elite Plus compared to the Elite I've been using for over a year? The obvious thing is iPad support. Because I use Clip Studio Paint on both the PC and iPad, I can bring the exact same setup on the go. This is so nice for me. You've probably seen plenty of videos showcasing the Tourbox software on the PC, but let me show you what it looks like on the iPad. If you've used the Tourbox console on the PC before, this will probably look very familiar. You can easily customize it and change any of the key combinations to make them do whatever you prefer. Right now, there are official presets available for Procreate and CSP on the iPad. Torbox has mentioned that they're planning to add more presets for other programs on the iPad soon. But of course, you can always create a blank preset and fully customize it yourself. Let me show you how I use the Torbox on the PC. I've fully customized my hotkeys on my Torbox, making sure the tools I use most often are all accessible. In fact, I don't even need to touch the keyboard at all when I draw. It's seamless and smooth, and that way I can immerse myself completely in drawing. In the past, if there was a drawing I needed to work on, I would often just be sitting in front of the computer for days at a time. But with the Torbox Elite Plus, I can just do this. And just like that, the Torbox is connected to the iPad. I can bring the exact same setup with me on the go. My workflow is identical. Since I use Clip Studio Paint, which is also available on the iPad, I have all the tools I'm used to on the go. And with the Tour Box, I can draw in exactly the same way. It is so nice that I actually get to touch grass once in a while and still get work done. By the way, if you use Procreate, this model of the Tour Box also supports it. But of course, there's no such thing as a perfect device. So let's talk about some of the cons. The first is that, well, I'm left-handed, obviously. No, not, that's not the con. <laughs> For whatever reason, there is no left-handed version of the Torbox, which is weird considering there's quite a lot of us out there. Torbox themselves actually suggested using the device upside down. In my case, I prefer to turn the device on its side. It works surprisingly well, though it does look pretty silly, so I really wish they would release a dedicated left-handed version sometime. Also, while the Torbox console software on the iPad is pretty easy to use, it's not without its limitations. Unfortunately, there's no way to transfer your existing presets from your PC to the iPad at the moment. Also, unlike the PC version, it doesn't have the ability to set up custom button combinations if you really want to push your toolbox to the very limit, like I do. But the developers say they'll be adding these two features soon, so please look forward to the upcoming updates. 
So does that mean you need a tour box? Well, everyone knows that you don't need more than a simple pencil and paper to draw. But if you're someone who spends hours and hours drawing every day, and you want to take your drawing experience and workflow to the next level, I think the tour box is definitely worth checking out. Tourbox also gave me a $10 coupon that everyone can use on top of the current holiday discounts. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye!